Hi everybody. Welcome to Terry's Kitchen with Pampered Chef. We're moving on to the braised chicken. So you see I have my Dutch oven already prepared. It just came out of the oven so it's going to be nice and hot. It works on all stovetops. Just be careful you don't want to put it on the on a glass top when it's 500 degrees straight out of the oven. Nah, might not be happy with the results. So what I've done is I have cut up three leeks because they just come in threes. However, you want to make sure with the leeks that you don't custom cut them past the green leaf part. Let me just show you. Of course, I left all the leeks over on the table. So once you get to the leafy part, that's where all the dirt goes in when they grow. So just cut off the green ends into nice thin little ringlets. It has a flavor that's sort of a cross between mm, celery and onion. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put some chopped leeks and bacon straight into the Dutch oven. I can hear the bacon sizzling already, so I know that the pan is hot. And they're just going to go in there and cook. Once they're out, I've already got the chicken thighs or legs or breasts, whatever you want, seasoned with the Pampered Chef. lemon pepper seasoning. You hear me choking on a crumb. I just had a little bite of that sourdough bread that we just took out of the oven. Don't tell. So as that's stirring, and this is the spoon that I like to stir them with because it's got that little corner edge on it that you can get right into the corners. I'm going to let the bacon crisp up. Then we're going to drain all but a little bit of the fat out of it. Then we're going to put the chicken on. Cook. So I'll show you the seasoned chicken. Pardon me while I deck out a frame again here. I've got it all seasoned with the lemon pepper spice ready to go in. And once the bacon and the uh, leeks are cooked up, then we'll put that in to cook. Now I like to cook it with the skin on because I think it gives it an extra flavor. You can take the skin off at the plate and most of the grease is going to be cleaned out of here anyhow. But it gives it a really nice flavor, your choice entirely. So I'll come back to you in a few minutes once this is all set to switch over and then we'll continue on with the recipe. Again, rather than having one long video, we're going to do it in little snippets so you can just see what we're doing. <laughs> 